we're the greatest a spur, spur of the moment. moment. This is what I came for. This is what I made for. Give me what I paid for. Said I know I am able. Laid it all out on the table. This is what I crave for. Hey guys, it's Bria Soul here, and you're watching another segment of Soul Series. Today I'm here with Brittany and Bird, as you've heard. So guys, we go way back. Since the start of UMD, shout out to the Terps, shout out class wow. of 2017. <laughs> <laughs> like, I might edit that out. No, yo, we but. met like August 2013. No, July. 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 Yeah, July. Oh, like, oh, where'd you go? Back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> so I know all about them. You know, I've been keeping up with them. But can you let everyone else know who you guys are? Um, what Spur of the Moment is, just a little bit like how you guys are connected in um, the creative community. So yeah, Spur of the Moment isn't just like clothing, it's kind of like this, we wanted it to be like this inspirational um, kind of like a movement, movement yeah, like kind of. So it's kind of like living through the Spur of the Moment and um, yeah. just doing whatever you want to do, mm -hmm. what it, whatever you want to do in um, your moment that you're in. Um, and this is kind of what we want to do in our mo moment, we want mm -hmm. to create these cute shirts so we can create this is your, um, your thing yeah this is like what we want to do right <laughs> yeah. now it's just kind of like a side thing that we wanted to do right. um but we want to also encourage others so um, how did like how did it come about like what was the day what, what oh, were you guys doing i don't even know, know the day. No, i remember okay <laughs> all right i don't remember the day but i remember we lived in um the same apartment so we were mm -hmm. roommates and um we wanted to start this brand or whatever and we're like oh well, we don't know what it is right. so i was like all right we'll just figure it out in this brand moment go. no we oh, said it in this brand moment and then we looked at you and was like oh my <laughs> god <that's laughs> it. we was like oh we're gonna name this brand the moment that's it and we were everybody yeah. was looking at us like we were crazy but i know um, it was like all right cool that's it so then that's kind of how it started uh, how did you find this place so like right now we're in their print shop in baltimore mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I really like this place already, so, <laughs> so I was back there looking at the screen print stuff, but yeah, it's a really dope spot. So actually, um, my dad introduced me to Kevin, the owner, okay. um, and because I wanted to do for the moment, mm -hmm. I needed help, like, with tricks and yeah. everything. Yeah. Um, yeah, right, but we'll Wait, go, no, we'll go, another print? Yeah, t we'll, tell me we'll about go. it after this. We'll, we'll go back. Um, <laughs> tea. so yeah, so I came and turned here for, like, a month honestly I gave myself an internship oh, kind of okay. and I was just making the shirts myself um, mm -hmm. just learning the ins and outs of things um, and then I just kept a relationship with them and it was came like back help and I talked to him about this idea for the moment mm -hmm. and they were down to help us out so I think that's really good advice for everyone like if there's not like a position already there for you if you just go ahead did you have to it was a free internship yeah, well, it was free, but they gave in return. You got kind of got this. That's what I was gonna say. I like, do yeah. a free internship because a lot of stuff can like this stuff can come out of that. I was gonna yeah. say, how's like y'all support not only from the community, just like to uplift the brand, but just like, are you guys able? Are you finding resources like to help you guys? Like, other than the print shop, I saw you like uh, snapped or something, Instagram, something about PR marketing. Mm -hmm. um, like, how how just the process of like. I guess I'm trying to say like completing the brand or like you know to get it all the way going. So like with that, I mean I love Instagram just because mm -hmm. you can reach out to right. so many people and That's I put that issue. up and I had like ten people who DM me like, Already. hey, I I do this or mm -hmm. I know this person that does that. Um, so it's, people are really supportive. Good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think the speech. If we ask for help, people will help. Yeah, you True. just gotta. You have to ask. Yeah, you just gotta ask. So. That's kind of like what I'm doing with this. Like I'm just asking people like, hey, you wanna get interviewed? And I'm like. Mm -hmm. Cool. It's, it's amazing, like when you, when you think, like keep, when you want to do something, right? Mm -hmm. And you know you want to do it. You're like, I don't know how I'm gonna get there, but you just keep putting yourself in places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, the you door kind of just keep open doing up. stuff. And you know, just keep stuff living up. in the spur of, of the, the moment. moment. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what it is. When they come together, boom. <laughs> this <is kinda> <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of like that's like the movement. Mm -hmm. Like you. I hear people say spur of the moment so many times just in different contexts, but it always relates to like to the, what yeah, we're to trying to Yeah, like mm -hmm. what we're trying to um, show people, I guess. Well, all right, so now that we know a little bit more about Brittany and Bird, um, can you guys define fashion? Like, what is fashion to you? In any sense, any form, like, mm -hmm. what is fashion? I think fashion is just the way that you show your personality through what you have on. Like, yeah, I think it's. Um, confidence like I know when I put on an outfit mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I could put on a t-shirt 
Yes, <laughs> and I'm gonna feel like the shit. Okay, right? can I cuss on you? Y'all can, okay. <laughs> no, I feel you. I feel no, you. I'm I feel just you. saying, like, it's just about how it makes you feel. Like, mm -hmm. I'm all yeah. about how you wear it. It's about how you wear it and how it makes you feel. Like, I know when I put on an outfit, I feel mm -hmm. bad as shit. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you go on my Instagram, mm -hmm. each and one of those outfits, <laughs> you felt bad. I felt bad like shit. I, that's how I was able to how do you feel on this outfit. I feel flashy. Can you show the pictures? Camera? Listen. Can we get the <laughs> camera on this outfit? <laughs> listen. Listen. Okay. Listen. Can I get a spin, please? It's just, I mean, fashion is, it's, it's fun. It's whatever you want it to be. Like you can experiment with so many things. Like I had one a measuring tape as a belt and I think it looks really It came with like, it came with like, so I really didn't even peep. Like it was an actual, like uh, a, yeah. So I mean, anything. it's whatever you want it to be. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Trend time. I looked up some trends for 2018 and I just wanted you guys opinion on it. So you can just tell me whether you approve or disapprove mm -hmm. and just tell me why pretty much. Up first, we have Gucci's new lineup for 2018. It was on the runway to predict spring for 2017. I don't know if you guys looked at it, but a lot of it is like layering and like different stuff. What do you guys think? Let me zoom in because I don't have yeah, my glasses. Zoom in. Zoom in. <laughs> so this first one, this red one, I mean, I'm not a fan of the shoes, mm -hmm. but the jacket in the bag is fly. It's fire. <laughs> okay? It's fire. I, I will wear that. I will wear mm -hmm. that. Um, this is a hit piece. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm down oh, yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm here for it. I don't it's, know say, it's saying something. Not with them shoes, though. <laughs> I paused. Do. The guy with the do rag on. I like, I, like do, do I like the do rag. I like the glasses. Maybe not on her, but I do like the glasses. <laughs> I do too. I do. It's the a guy shoes. or girl. <laughs> I like the shoes with that better than the first one that we saw. Yeah, I mean, I like the, the contrast. The jacket, I would style it different, but I'm, I like the jacket, the jacket as well. So cool. overall, you guys would say you like, like the pieces, maybe mm -hmm. like change out how they put them together. Yeah. All right, so Gucci, you're yeah, good. Well, Gucci's Gucci, good. They might have been forcing it with that blue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Next is Chanel. I don't know, how would you guys describe this look? Cause I couldn't figure out myself. Like what? Here for everything, like, boxy. Like, she said I couldn't figure it out myself. <laughs> Like, I don't know what it would be Definitely, like. um, shapes. Chanel gives shapes. Yeah, exactly. All day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sister, but I, know, um, servant. It was like her okay. common style. I like all of it. I love mm -hmm. the, I like the plaid. Yeah, yeah. I love the plaid. Mm -hmm. The pink. It's saying a, something. Everything is saying something different. But it's getting a bad <laughs> pitch, okay? Um, the wide leg. Now, I, uh, I would have to I would have to put it on myself. Mm -hmm. I would have to feel it out. That's when you gotta see. The jackets though, like all jackets it. are mm -hmm. fire. The shirt, fire. fire. <laughs> okay, the skirt, I love it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't wear it, but I love it. I like it's too conservative. It's, yeah. No, but it's still doing something. But it's yeah. I wish it was give the girls was giving a little bit more body though, so I can see that. That's outfit. not what they want in like, runway. Like I know but I need <laughs> sis right here. She need to be serving body, okay? <laughs> That's not what they want. I mean everything is cool. Shoes, a no go for me. Right. All right, and for the last one, I just went ahead and picked a shoe. Um, Zara's 2018 platform shoes. What do you guys think about them? I never first liked those. I was never a fan of platform of shoes, but I'm also 5'8". So, um, if I'm wearing, I don't wear sneakers either. So, <laughs> yeah. if I'm wearing a heel, I'm wearing like a booty or a heel. You. My thing if I'm is, wearing a sneaker, I'm wearing a sneaker. so Zara is like, they duplicate the high-end shoes. I was going to say, don't it seem like a bunch of like them mixed together? A Balenciaga platform you're right, sneakers. You're right. That's they what these are like. They like to me in a way. Exactly. I mean, if I had to choose, I would choose these. All the, the way. I wouldn't want to Because I like the choose. color. I like the color. I wouldn't sneaker. even know what to wear. <laughs> I would do like Wait, a, like what? a ripped jean I was thinking in jeans. a bombet. Sure. A so. question just popped in my head. So mm -hmm. it's 20 years later from now. You guys are like big time fashion designers. What type of models would you guys want modeling your clothes? Like Man. would you keep it to like the classic, you know, tall, slender? Like no. What's what's I want? Like, what do you I want? I need everybody. 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 I want everybody. People who are freaking disabled. I just saw this girl like who doesn't that. have a, has an amputated leg. I said, but she can model. Mm -hmm. I want her. I seen this girl I with this big much. gap. Girl, keep your gap. She looks fire. Girl, that gap. signature, it's probably gave her signature look. Mm -hmm. It gave her mm -hmm. signature. And she shortcut, buzz cut. Mm -hmm. So I love like She's edgy, cute. different, go against the grain type yeah. of model. So yeah, um, guys, we're gonna go and see where they actually make the shirts and just go more in depth into their brand. 
More about them. The MTV Cribs. <laughs> For real. Give me blood, give me strength, give me power. Let's go. Um, so we moved back into another section of the print shop, which is dope as fuck. Like, I'm looking around. I could spend all day in here, literally. Um, you want to go ahead and plug them in real quick? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> we are back with all the action happens. Um, behind this is a bunch of different inks. Um, so we're in Printworks. We, um, Printworks, just in case, um, in case you guys don't know, it is a printing company. You can get your t-shirts, business cards, flyers. Everything. Backdrops, mm -hmm. store banners, everything you need here. At 2125 Boston Street, downtown Boston, Maryland. And I will <laughs> link that Instagram website below. Yeah, all the information will be following after this. So, guys, while you guys are, well, do you guys actually stay back here and like work during that process, like the printing part? Um, or do you see them? Um, yeah. yeah, so some, I'm back here sometimes. Um, mm -hmm. And I'll actually, I can put the machines together, like put the inks in and stuff like that, and actually make the shirts myself. So that's mm -hmm. kind of cool um, to be a part of that process. How do you so, guys like with this Rihanna shirt? Tell me like how that came to be about, like how you- uh, an adult picture. Yeah, so pretty, pretty much she's, she, I saw a picture. Like, she uh, posted a picture and I was like, it's a vibe. That'd be cute on the shirt. Like it's a vibe. Yeah, so he so was like, "Oh man, who can recreate this gentry?" Yeah, I actually know. I saw when I saw when y'all <laughs> shout him out for that. I was gentry. like, "Okay, good choice." Yeah, yeah, yeah. he is a beast. If y'all don't know who gentry yeah, is, yeah, gentry. He please plug his Instagram team. right here. He already they dancing over there. Cause exactly. they know, cause they know. Exactly. <laughs> shout out to you, gentry. But yeah, gentry. Yep. Shout out to gentry. Um, <laughs> he hit us up. I mean, it was kind of that. I just saw it. And I was like. It'd be cute. And look, I think I like, it makes... It's a vibe. I was yes. gonna say, I like how simple it is, but mm -hmm. it's such like what you guys said, like a... Yeah, you can dress it up just the the vibe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can dress it up, dress it down. We just kind of decided to dress it up today. So. Like, um, the other day, my coworker, she had um gotten a shirt, and we went to the bathroom so she can put it on, mm -hmm. and she was like playing with it, tucking it in, doing something with the sleeves and everything. And she was just like, yeah, I'm just trying to give it my own little style. Mm -hmm. And I was telling her, I was like, thank you so much for saying that because mm -hmm. that was the vibe that we was going for. Like, we mm -hmm. wanted to give you shirts where you can make where it you your can, style, yeah, customize it. it down. Yeah, yeah I, that's my favorite part, seeing how people piece the shirt together. Like, I've been yeah. seeing a lot of people um, sending y'all, like, pictures and stuff of them mm -hmm. wearing it, so that's really good. Yeah, it's a vibe. Like, yeah. the shirts are vibes. Are y'all trying to reach anyone? Like, have you tried to, like, get this up to Rihanna, mm -hmm. maybe? No, I or, mean, like... Not really, but That's maybe. A word. <laughs> like, like, it is a word. It is a, a word. A lot of people are accessible. Yeah, if you want to say okay. that, but. <laughs> we'll be waiting. We'll be waiting. We'll be waiting. What does this mean? So there's like. There's a lot of people trying to do everything, actually, trying to be a musician, trying to be an artist, trying to design clothes. In your in your opinion, what sets you guys apart from everyone else that's trying to, or just in fashion, like that has a clothing brand? Mm. I think that one thing um, that's important for me and Bird is mm -hmm. that Bird is like 100% herself, and I'm 100% yeah. myself, and I think that we bring that out of each other, mm -hmm. and that's always like a good part of the creative process because we kind of just let each other and branch like off of each show. other's like individuality. Yeah, it's so. showing your brand. Like it already does spur in the moment type shit. So. Yeah, and that's <laughs> and that's another. We're trying to work on that. Like also just try to set yourself apart. But I, I think the key is not trying so hard and just mm -hmm. going with the flow and see. I think you should really be yourself. Yeah, we just kind of just doing it. Like not really looking like, at what other people mm -hmm. are doing because we don't want to copy right. anyone so i was gonna ask where do you guys like if there's a moment where you are stuck at a standstill like where do you guys pull inspiration from it could be a person it could be you a just place or look. anything like um like where you do you can find look at yourself? magazines you look on instagram you can look walking down the street you can mm -hmm. see a, a painting like the murals downtown like mm -hmm. Honestly, anything you can be watching a video and just see something and be like, "That's a vibe," and like mm -hmm. just screenshot it real quick. How you know? can yeah? How can we make this into something like yeah. visual, or whatever? Cause it, I do, I know I get stuck a lot, and I'm just like, <laughs> oh, I don't know what to. Yeah, cause do sometimes right when now. I'm like that, and I start getting on Instagram and I start getting on social media and looking at others, it don't actually help me. Like, yeah. So it's just like, but the magazines that help. Works. Magazines, magazines help. Power. Just like. Walk and clean your mind, going somewhere that's kind of artistic mm -hmm. and just setting yourself in the space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you gotta put kinda, yourself in the yeah. space. Yeah, you just kind of still gotta live in the spur of the moment that's gonna come to you because at the end of the day, our shirts are like a representation of what we're doing. Oh, like the, they all, all, the, all the shirts will have a story behind them, okay. like how they came about. They yeah, all have a story they, behind them. Girl power, tell me about that shirt because I actually uh, just saw that. Okay, so yeah, the girl power one, so that 
the Powderpuff Girls. I like that. The um, font. The yeah. font. Mm-hmm. I was like, all right, well, let's do a girl power shirt. Right. Just because we're females, we want girl to power. empower yeah. women. Yeah. So, like, I like how that. direct it is, too. Mm-hmm. It's just like, like, I'm glad y'all didn't do, like, too much with it. Mm-hmm. I, no, I probably will bleach it, cut it mm, for myself and see how people react to it. Maybe yeah. we'll do a boy power shirt. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. So I wanted to give you guys a little styling test. So let's go out here okay. and see if you guys are up to the challenge. Go out at the hour. Challenge. Challenge. I'm going to a challenge. Whatever it is. I'm standing on my own. So... I picked like 10 different random pieces of clothing from my own closet for you guys to make an outfit um, from. So, Bert, you get one outfit, Bert, you get one outfit, and I'm going to tag you guys. So, you have like... Uh, uh, oh, oh, just, okay. Just one outfit. So, it's not that hard, but like, I don't know. pieces. Are we, yeah. hey, are we oh. adding spur shirts to it? I if you do. want, like, oh. pair, pair my clothing. All right, okay. okay. Something you did. <laughs> Wait a second. Exactly, you didn't took all the pieces, but of course I'll be the one with the dresses. <laughs> yeah, right. and the skirts. <laughs> all right, cool. Exactly. First, Brittany or Bert, show off like show us your first outfit that you feel proud of. Cause I got about five. <laughs> Me too. It's picking and choosing. We're actually going through. I got a couple pieces. <laughs> Bring some more pieces. Okay. The first is just the regular dress. I'm gonna have no. Mm-hmm. But you can wear it like the shoes that Bert got on. You can wear it like that. I do like that. Mm-hmm. Even okay. if it's tight, you can do the tight. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's a, it's a vibe. Okay, then we have this um, number right here. So with this, you can do it a couple different ways. You can do it with a spur shirt. You can even keep it tucked out, or you can tuck it in, or you can probably like That's roll fire. it up. That's fire. Hello. We options this. Or you can do it with a black, same style, but then you have like this little cardigan jacket thing that you can put with it if you tuck it in, and then really make it kind of like a preppy vibe with like a stocking and then a blue. You, get, you, like, see, you feel it, you feel it. <laughs> but then you also have this little tank top, and you can also do the same thing with this, and you kind of give it like a clueless vibe. Mm-hmm. The 90s. Yeah. Now to this skirt. You can also do the same thing, but with the um, spur shirt. Y'all see, I feel like I just hooked <laughs> this kebabi So you Take can do the same thing, but um, you can also do this. I really like this. This would be really cute. Like this um, skirt. This what would you? Top. What accessories would you put with it? Um, honestly, if y'all ain't realize, I really don't wear accessories like that. So, and if we get to a price, I would probably be like, they could get twenty thousand right? I have the accessories to match. So, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you could do this with like a stocking and a boot, or you could do it with a booty, or you could um do it with like a nice like single sole black heel. Depends on what you wear. So I'm Alright, so here's what I have. So we have this, which is my own, but you could do this. And then I saw this shirt that you, you could do with this mesh top underneath. That would be that would be cute. But these sunglasses here, the white ones, or the you or ring them out. Or you could do the red ones. Like that's as a matter of fact, come on. Yeah, with yeah. the mesh. Oh my gosh, I made this myself. <laughs> All right, and you can even do, even if you want to do a t-shirt and it's the leather, um, mm-hmm. you actually could also do that, and that would also pop with either other ones. I actually bought yeah. that shirt hoping that you guys could pair it with that black dress. What? Exactly. Exactly. Like the shirt you're with yeah. right now? Oh, oh the black dress. Like, so yeah, I'm just saying that one here. But you can do that with this. Yeah. yeah. So, and with this, an accessory like a bag, I like to make it pop with the I think I wore the outfit the other day to be honest. <laughs> so that's why I kind of worked. That's why I was able to put this together. Like, well, yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of how we style. I have like four or five new outfits now, so that's cool. Alright, so we're going to do this. 
so there is one question that I don't prepare anyone uh, for. In 50 years, when people remember spur of the moment, what's one word, not a phrase, not a quote, just one word, you both can give me an answer that you want them to remember spur of the moment by? Damn. Damn. Phenomenal. She knew it. Phenomenal. I like that. Inspiration. Yeah, that's what it says. There we go. <laughs> Inspiration was the word. Yeah. Alright, but thank you guys for being on the show. Thank you guys for watching. Stay connected, stay creating, stay conscious. Breathe soul and we're out. I'm standing on my own too. Yeah.